Hello everybody and thank you for once again tuning in to one of my reviews. Today I am reviewing a product by Small Tree and it is a Small Tree Floating Small Pole F1. Uh, it comes in three different colors. It comes in blue, golden, and black. I ordered the golden one myself. Um, I've already opened the package but uh, with all Small Tree products they come in their own uh, box like this that has their name on it, Small Tree. Inside of the package, you will receive a couple different things. You receive the pole itself, which is very lightweight. It's made out of a carbon fiber. It has a uh, aluminum mount on the top already built in, so that's not going nowhere. The nice thing about these mounts that Small Tree makes is they're already pre-threaded, so you don't have to worry about uh, that little extra bolt that needs to tighten. Uh, also in the box came a winch boy. If you're not familiar with the winch boy, uh, it's really nice because it tightens up your GoPro onto the mount so there's no movement whatsoever. You also have this little rubber ring here and that attaches to your wrist mount um, which is going to attach to the bottom of your pole here so I'm guessing no water gets into that. Uh, one thing is I ordered the golden like I said uh, and I got a blue screw with it. Um, I'm kind of weird. I like my product to match all around. Uh, so, like I said, I opened this earlier, so I actually have a golden screw that will look just a little bit better. Maybe Small Tree will start sending the colored uh, screws with the pole color that you ordered. So if you order a blue screw, or I'm sorry, if you order a blue um, pole, you should get the blue one. If you order the gold one, get the gold one. I, mean, I, I don't know if anybody else out there is weird like that. So let me start attaching this. So the little rubber ring I'm going to attach onto my wrist mount. That way you have a nice tight secure fit. And it's just a standard screw hole here. This product is approximately 8.6 inches long. So very, very lightweight. The wrist mount. So if you're out into the water, you don't want to lose that. Very easy to move back and forth. On the wrist mount as well, small trees named all over that. So that's kind of a nice touch. They don't have that with some of their other products. Uh, in a moment, I will attach my GoPro. I am recording, obviously, with it right now, but I'll attach it and go do a water test. But just so you guys can see what I mean, it goes right on here. And like I say, I like mine all matching. So I'm adding the golden screw. So it all looks nice and uniform right there. All right. And as you can see, I can move this right now with my hand. With the winch boy, you simply just crank it a little bit more. There's no movement whatsoever. I mean, there's a little bit. So you just tighten it a little bit more that way. You have a nice secure case that's not going nowhere also inside of your package uh, they tell you about the winch boy what exactly that it is there and they also tell you about the small tree pole that you received what they started including in their package which I never had before is now a product, uh, product catalog uh, and it shows you everything that they carry um, from cases to head straps chest mount screws uh, and then the different um, small poles. Uh, I am currently recording with the small pole X1. It's a three-way uh, mount made out of metal. It's really nice because you can put it in different positions. Uh, I'm also using an external microphone. I've never used one before, so hopefully it sounds pretty good. So let me go test this in the water. Uh, I live in Las Vegas. We don't have many lakes or rivers or ponds or anything like that around here that we can go to. So I'll be testing it in my sink. So I'm going to turn on the camera here. And I'm going to throw it in there. And if it works the way it's supposed to, this is supposed to float up. And as you can see there, it's definitely floating up. I try to push it down and it just pops it back up. So yeah, it definitely does what it's supposed to. Very lightweight. Uh, hopefully if you're in the ocean, you will never misplace your GoPro by just um, 
or lose it in the middle of the ocean. Hopefully you'll have your wrist strapped around there nice and tight so that way you don't have to worry about this. But this is definitely a cool design like if you're in the swimming pool hanging out with your friends or something and you just want to toss your GoPro around in the pool and not worrying about it sinking to the bottom. That definitely does the trick. Uh, my one concern is if I was in the middle of the ocean, I don't know how bright the carbon fiber itself would be. The gold pops nicely, but I don't know about the pole itself sticking out in the ocean. All right, guys. So there you have it. Uh, all right, guys. So there you have it. Uh, again, this is the Small Tree Floaty Pool F1. Um, I myself will put the golden screw on there. Some of you guys may not be particular. I am. I like it all matching, looking universal. Uh, or you can go to smalltree.com uh, and order it direct from them. Uh, you can also become a VIP member on smalltree.com and go under their product testing because uh, they give a bunch of free products out to test and review as well. Uh, please join our community known as goprofanatics.com. Uh, it's a great site, great people on there where you get to see videos of drones, of people's vacations, uh, learn tips and tricks. I've learned a lot of tips and tricks off of there. Uh, I've had a lot of great communications with people. Um, I hope you enjoyed my review. Please leave your comments below, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Take care.